Los Angeles city leaders on Tuesday December 7, approved new city council boundaries that will shift a district represented by Councilwoman Nitya Raman further into the San Fernando Valley, as well as making other adjustments to district lines throughout the city as part of a once-a-decade redistrict tie. Under the approved map, Raman's 4th district would lose Hancock Park, Miracle Mile, Park La Brea, Mid-City, much of Hollywood and part of Silver Lake. But it would keep Sherman Oaks, while gaining Encino, a part of Reseda and Studio City, that are now spread out among other districts. Meanwhile, the 5th Council District, now represented by Councilman Paul Koritz, would no longer be part the San Fernando Valley, under the ordinance approved by the Los Angeles City Council on Tuesday on a 13-0 vote. The big shifts in the valley came about after a push by groups such as the Sherman Oaks Homeowners Association to create boundaries that would create what the group's representatives called a fair share of representation on the city council of valley-based elected officials. Others, however, decried the effort as disenfranchising current residents of the 4th District who recently voted Raman in a race that reflected a historic high in voter turnout. The new lines would go into effect as soon as they are published by the city clerk. Before that can happen, the ordinance would need to be signed by the mayor, or if not signed, it would go into effect by default. The mayor also has the option to veto the ordinance. Mayor Lade Harrison Wallman said Tuesday following the vote that Mayor Eric Garcetti plans to sign the ordinance that would put into effect the new map, as well as an accompanying redistricting ordinance for new Los Angeles Unified School District boundaries. The City Council vote on the ordinance was delayed about a week after staffers said a technical correction needed to be made, 